I got an email late last night from one of you guys, from Eric, saying, Simon, can you make a video warning people on overpaying for secondhand clubs? Well, Eric, yes I can. Can't this NXT? What's this? Compliments of Stuart Wright. Stuart, thank you for joining the channel. The bids you gotta be careful of. I've been there, I've done it. Like, you're there bidding and then you're like, oh, another five pounds, another 10 pounds, another five pounds, and then all of a sudden, yeah, and then you just pay for retail <laughs> for a second pound pitch. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon here on my way into town. I'm gonna check the charity shops. We've actually got quite a few in Newbury, so I wanna ask them if they ever get golf clubs. Um, so I might have some B-roll and other topics to talk about, but the main topic of this video is the one from Eric. Uh, he sent me an email um, and he's showing examples of people paying um, for £180 for a Ping Sigma 2 putter on eBay um, uh, for like a second hand one, yet they could just go and get one uh, brand new from Clubhouse Golf. Here's the one that he showed me, £185, 22 hours um, still to go, and well, it's pre-owned. Well, you can go and get a brand new one from Clubhouse Golf, American Golf, probably your pro shop. I'd be more than happy to take £180 off you for one of these things. So it's a very good topic of conversation, and it's not the first time I've been noticing this, or people will be messaging me, like second-hand clubs being very overpriced for what they actually are. And I can understand to some degree how it gets to that point, but it's a bit ridiculous when you can get a brand new one with a wrapper on for cheaper. Right, no success in terms of golf clubs, but it's very interesting. The lady that manages the shop at Cancer Research in Newbury said that she just turned down two sets of golf clubs um, because they just never sell them. So I've given her my number and I said, give me a call, I'll give you the best price um, uh, for them, obviously reasonable. Um, and obviously I'll just come and pick them up and take them off her hands straight away because obviously golf clubs and bags, I imagine charity shops do take up a bit of space. Anyway, let's have a look. Funny about, I want to find some clubs that you could probably buy brand new at the moment. Um, uh, so let's change the filter, buy it now. Show more, uh, no I don't want to show more, condition, here we go, condition, new, right. Let's have a look what we can get, brand new right now. I want the wrapper on, 350 SIM driver, I'm telling you now people have been paying more pre-owned for a SIM driver. Um, uh, SIM uh, D-Type 5 wood, M3, okay, right. This is a good deal here, 159, lightweight driver. I mean, a lot of you guys are looking for a new driver, 460cc, Callaway XR speed, right. So, Callaway XR, Callaway XR speed driver. Let's get rid of best match. Uh, let's get rid of, yeah, let's have a look at sold items. 159, so obviously people are buying that. 169, pre-owned. Okay, it's got a regular flex driver shaft rather than a light flex. Obviously it's in good condition, but someone's still giving it a hit and you're not gonna get any warranty on that. 149, oh, it's windy today. 164 pre-owned, 150 pre-owned, 149 pre-owned. So you're paying more for a second hand product. Okay, let's do a different one just before I go to another charity shop and then hassle them. Let's look at putters, because putters have definitely been going, as you saw with Eric's email, 189 for Ping Sigma 2. And I can get why, like, you get into bidding war and it's late in the night and you've had a few sherbets and then all of a sudden the finger slips and you've just paid 200 pound for a pre-owned putter. Um, uh, like these Cleveland TFI, see that's a great deal, 69 pounds for a very good putter. Like second hand, I bet you they're still going for like 60 odd quid. Um, uh, brand new, I've gone brand new again, putters, laser, Odyssey O-Works, brand new, 119, 33 watches, I wonder why no one's bought that, see that for me, I bet you if I typed in Odyssey O-Works again, Odyssey O-Works, here's one with the wrapper on, Odyssey O-Works, putter 7, okay, right, so if I now type in Odyssey O-Works, Putter seven. I bet you someone's bought one for the same price and it's been hit, especially recently. Not far off, 90 quid, 95 pounds, 92 50, 90, 150. Oh, brand new, damn it, I nearly had you. Um, pre owned, 100 pounds, mm, 111 pre owned, but you get a nice little head cover with it. Lucky seven, 84, 87. Hundreds, I'm close. I think you get what I mean.
first pickup of the day. 5.99 Callaway pencil bag. Not bad. The pocket's actually full, so I have no idea what's actually in those pockets. I didn't have the heart to actually go through it in the store. Um, uh, but she said, yeah, 5.99. So we're going to see what that is at home. Let's go and check a few others. Okay, charity shop's done. I've left my number at majority of places. No one really else had any kind of golf stuff, which is understandable because it just takes up too much room. But if they do get offered it, then obviously they can give me a call and I can obviously make them offer whatever they have while I'm going to get home. Find out exactly what we bought in this 5.99 pencil bag um, and then show you some more bargains. 5.99, as I said, for this bag. It's actually in quite good quality. It's obviously quite old, uh, just in terms of make, but I mean, a pencil bag is a pencil bag at the end of the day. Um, uh, let's have a look what's inside. Honestly, I haven't had a look what's inside here. I'm not expecting big things. So we've got a nice little hippo there. That's fantastic. Followed by Tour Edition. Excellent. <laughs> let's be honest, it's the bag that I was more after. Mmm, nice. Nice little sun, sun glazed glove there. More QTs, actually to be fair, I could probably do. Yeah, they're kind of a really weird length. Tees tees. They can go into the addition of use of stuff that I have. Top Flight XL. Look at that beauty. Still in the pristine box as it once was. Whew. Delightful. And then I think it's a, oh, got another glove. Zuno. Oh, that's not actually half bad. No, it's pretty manky. I've, I've, okay, I think you get the point. Do we have a Lucky Pro V in there? Oh, soft film. Um, I think the Titleist NXT. What's this? Compliments of Stuart Wright. Stuart, thank you for joining the channel, pal. Um, uh, <laughs> we can definitely do more of these kinds of videos, but I don't think this is a high quality, high brand entertainment you're after. So um, uh, let me put this all back in there. I think I'm just gonna, um, uh, well, I think I'll donate that to the range to be perfectly honest. And then, um, uh, yeah, let's get back into the rest of the video. Let's continue our hunt for stupid people. Um, <laughs> Um, what have I done? Putters, um, drivers, wedges, I guess is the next one that we obviously have a look at. Um, uh, oh, here we go. T20 wedge, £99 plus £9.90. So obviously, this is brand new. Again, I'm not saying guys go and brand, buy brand new stuff. I mean, if the brand new market is cheaper than the second hand market, well, then you might see me flipping uh, on the head and going, you know what, buy brand new stuff because it's better value. Let's have a see what, let's see if we can find if someone's actually selling their second hand wedge. T20, seeing as they only came out this year. See, this guy's already got it for 65. Obviously, no one's bid on it. What kind of condition are we saying? Like, for 30 pounds more, you could get a brand new one out of your shop. 109 pounds. Oh, mate, is that brand new? Pre owned. Someone's trying to sell for exactly the same money, hitting it. By looks of things, it just looks like it's been a fitting wedge. And it has got a few marks on there. I mean, that's not really going to affect the performance of the majority of golfers. But let's have a look at what has sold recently then. Sold items. 65. Okay. People aren't. Oh, someone's got a good deal here. 74 quid with the wrapper on. Okay. Good. It's not as bad as I thought it would. Come on, there's got to be some stupid person out there, though. 82 pounds. We're not far off. <laughs> Mind you, the condition is really good as well. It's the bids you've got to be careful of. I've been there, I've done it. Like, you're there bidding, and then you're like, oh, another five pounds, another ten pounds, another five pounds, and then all of a sudden, yeah! And then you've just paid for retail for a second hand pitch. Um, let's have a look. Pre owned 101, here we go. I know the condition is going to be good, but you won't get warranty with these guys. That's the only problem. Like, if the head falls off, um, or the shaft snaps under the handle, whatever it is, for like five pounds more, I mean, this guy's paid 106 pounds for someone else to hit their wedge for a bit. I mean, it's, in, it's still got marks though, whereas you could have one with a wrapper. What date was that? So that was four weeks ago, 101 pounds. Right, what have we done? Irons, let's go on to irons. Right, brand new golf iron sets. Let's have a look, see, shall we? Maybe I might have to type in some brand names. 489, 449, Ben Ross. Um, oh, actually, on that subject, hang on, let's change the subject. Ben Ross, Delta. This is a good deal, boys. I might start a Discord group, um, uh, or I'm not sure I want to work it. I might have a 100 max membership to something where basically 
could be a WhatsApp group, I'm not too sure, I haven't really thought it through, where those 100 people join up, you can only have to be a part of the group for like a month maximum, you can cancel any time, but I'll basically tell you what I see, so it's like, it's not really worth me travelling up to Manchester for this unbelievable deal, or it might be an eBay deal, or it might even be like an online golf deal, whatever it might be, and I go, that's just ridiculous value, because I saw these and I thought I'd tell you this, like £118 for the Benoist Delta, like, as soon as I upload this video and 10,000 of you see it, it's going to be gone. But if I have like a slight group on the middle where people we just chat and we talk golf, um, a bit of banter, and then I go, boys, heads up, these are out if you want to go and have a look, then potentially that might be a possibility. Let me know if you think that'd be a good idea. Um, obviously, I'm not going to change my content, I'm going to keep doing it, but it kind of gets ruined. Like, even subscribers, people that aren't members of the channel, see my video first, like the Homer one, for example had like nearly 38,000 views and not all those people go be subscribed to the channel otherwise I'd be at 38,000 subscribers um, uh, so I kind of benefit the people that obviously watch the channel obviously heavily invested in it as well um, when I say heavily invested it'd probably be a couple of quid um, uh, but anyway yeah so that I just wanted to show you that anyway Ben Ross Driver I am sidetracking a bit um, what was I going? Let's go. Uh, okay, so wedges, drivers, putters, we've covered. Pretty much we found an example of where people are paid pretty much full retail, even though you can get it brand new. And by all means, don't discount like like online stores like Clubhouse Golf, um, American Golf, they're going to get to the end of the year. Their warehouse is going to be full of Maverick, Sim, whatever. People are selling, obviously, Maxim drivers, £300. Who says you won't be able to get one for 250 270 at the end of the year when they just want to get rid of everything and also demo stuff in your pro shop as well those boys would be wanting to get rid of their demo stuff and again that's a good way of getting a good deal but also you know it's going to be used well it's not going to obviously have a rattle or anything gone wrong with it if um well i hope not if your pro's been using it well let's have a look Tailor made sim max iron brand new i actually sold my irons the other day i think another golf store bought them world of golf bought my sim irons that you would have seen in the previous video for 580 i put them up for about 10 minutes gone um, uh, right, come on, I'm up for finding a deal here. Okay, here we go. I bet you someone's paid full retail for these. Titleist T300, boys, at least I know you're a PJ Pro seller, but give me some more pictures. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five to gap wedge, okay. Brand new, in the wrapper. Only one photo, probably why hasn't sold yet. Um, uh, Titleist T300 irons. There's bound to be. I've seen loads of people pre-owned 629, 13 watches. I know, okay, it's a hundred quid difference, all right? But these have been hit and battered and you're still spending 629 pounds, might I add. I know you haven't bought them yet, but there's a lot of you watching it. And I can imagine a few of you getting a bit twitchy and thinking, ooh, I might want to buy that one. Um, uh, no, they're not too bad actually. I mean, I say too bad, it's still 500 all pounds. 488, 514, but there's a missing club. No, oh, I might be stumped here. 645, edging towards, yeah, there's still 7. 525, 493. Ooh, some guys have got some good dip on their 6 pitching wedge. So it's working out about 100 pound a club, isn't it? Is that left handed? 56. See, that's not bad, 390. I've seen sets of 718s go for, oh, mind you, magic sponge that, that comes up. Someone's just, honestly, you would have made £100 just by cleaning your clubs. Pre-owned 540, 579, I might be stamped on the irons. Nah, I think I have. 629, 700, pre-owned 769, come on, come on, golf clubs for cash, help me out here. <laughs> Give me a, oh no, there's eight irons. <laughs> Okay, there we go guys. Drivers, putters, wedges. Just be careful. Um, uh, look on sold items, look on, it's the only way I know. Like I've been buying stuff this year for what I would have sold it for last year. So the market is somewhat crazy at the moment, but at the same time, uh, even if I, sometimes I look at it, I'm like, oh, great deal, 30 pound a wedge. But then I'm like, well, well, that means I have to charge someone 60 pounds for a second hand wedge. Just doesn't make sense. Um, so just have a look on sold items, do your research um, uh, and, 
on if it's close to 80% or 90% of its market retail value, you're paying way too much. I don't care what the condition is because you're not getting that warranty, you're not getting that guarantee, you're not getting that returns policy. Um, uh, so if it's 60% and below, in my eyes, depending on what year it came out, good deal. At the moment, if it's above that, I stay well clear. Eric, thank you very much for your email and the other guys that have been notifying me, messaging me. I am very much aware. Um, I've made a few videos on it, but not really now uh, put like outright exactly say it as it is. Um, uh, £5.99 bag, charity shops. I think we covered everything. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you later.